you tonight's recap of Amazing Race All-Stars. Oh, we are only one episode away from the final finale. Oh my gosh, the finale is next week. All right. Sevilla, Spain to Liverpool, England. All right. There was quite a... Between... <laughs> between... Sevilla and Liverpool. Okay. There were many steps that had okay. to be taken. First, what that means? Yeah, was first they had to take a train <laughs> to Madrid. Then they had to take a plane from Madrid to London. Then, then they had to drive from London to Liverpool. Exactly. And get to Anfield Stadium, which is a soccer stadium. No more soccer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> End it like that. <laughs> I love that movie. Okay, so, so once they got there, they had to suit up. In their soccer gear, which was very cool. They had a hangout with the... The mascot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then each of them had to score two goals on, I think it was a professional goalie. He was. They had two different ones. So yeah, one on Two teams ten. could do it at a time. Mm -hmm. So the Brenchels did it really quick. Pretty quickly, I yeah. was surprised. Yes. Rachel actually did better than Brendan. Brendan, I scored two goals. Dave and Connor had some issues, particularly... Connor. Connor sucked. He was really bad. I actually think that they really went late on them after a while. Some of them, it seemed like the goalie would be like, oh, oh. I can't get, oh, I can't. <laughs> oh, what? It just yeah. went in? What happened? Because in the beginning, they were like, <sighs> yeah. But then it was like, <laughs> oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do it anymore. I've, I've worked too hard already. Yeah, so after completing the soccer challenge, they had to drive again, this time to Wales. Wow. There, there was an aqueduct that was 200 years old. Yes. It was really weird. I've never seen anything like that ever. It had a, pretty cool. a boat running across the top of mm -hmm. it. So it's roadblock time. All right, where was Sean Connery? <laughs> One <laughs> member of each team had to learn and perform this verse of Welsh poetry. I bet Sean Connery could have done it like that. Welsh is not an e easy language to learn, especially... It's a really weird language. In the 15 minutes that they gave yeah. them. They had it might to, have been 20. I don't know. I thought it was 15. They had okay. to learn it as they were crossing over the aqueduct. But I thought, if they didn't get it right, that they were going to have to go back. That's what I thought, too, but I but don't they think didn't. so. No. Once they parked that boat, they just went back to the boat if they didn't get it on the first try. I think try. that's because, what if they went back and then yeah, they were I, on the other end? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, now Dave decides, you know what, kids? There's only four teams left. We should all really be nice to each other now because there's no reason not to be anymore. Oh, so it should happen now because that's what you want? <laughs> All right. Nobody got this on the first try. It was really difficult. Yeah. There was it was almost wacky like Elvis. Things going on. <laughs> well, I'm sure uh, Welsh had a big influence on Elvish. Possibly. Brendan and Caroline got it on the second attempt. They did it the fastest. I mean, Jamal and Connor took forever. Especially Connor. The soccer, then this. He's having a rough leg. Yeah. All right, well, next up, Bullsworth Castle. Get that Welsh right out of your hair. It's a detour. <laughs> it's either boot it or shoot it. Yeah, so let's talk about boot it first. You had to choose, this was very specific in the clue, either a size 9 or size 11 pair of shoes. It was a welly. Yeah. Wellington boots. Which are like rain boots. Right, which are, you know, rubber, so they're like watertight, so... You gotta and fill it. heavy. Yes. Well, when filled with the water, they were quite heavy. Yeah, so they had to fill up those boots with water and toss them along this whole, like, course. It was like welly bowling, almost. I mean... What? <laughs> you know, you never <laughs> heard of road bowling? No. This was like welly bowling. All right, well, the only <laughs> Whoever team... Whoever thought of this? The only team to do this task were... Brendan and Rachel. Right. And they got all the way through the course, and then they find out, hey, you used the wrong size shoe. Brendan, I'm sorry. Oh I didn't know. Gosh. This Brendan, is not the sorry. first time that they have misread a clue and, and messed themselves up. she has misread a clue. <laughs> well, they need to freaking pay attention. you think uh, they would have learned their lesson the first two or three times. Well, on the shooted side, it was the old clay, pe clay pigeon shoot. <laughs> blip, 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 blip. Yes, I know. With a 12-gauge shotgun, I would have sucked at this. You had well, to shoot 16 of them. Yeah. 
between the two team members. Right. So at least it wasn't like you're required to do eight right. and you're required to do eight. Well, Carolyn and Jen, they busted through this because apparently they're related to Daniel Boone and John Wayne. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dave and Connor, they did okay. Not bad. Not bad. And the Afghanimals, they did okay. They but... were pretty quick, but they got lost on the way to the castle, or the estate, so... That was sucky They were them. the last team to arrive. Yeah. At the detour. Well, at the pit stop, the first team to arrive at Peckforton Castle. Which mm -hmm. looked awesome. Oh my god, all of those castles look awesome. Sign me up! Dave and Connor arrived first. And they won a trip for two to Fiji. I think it was like seven nights, too. That's some trip. Yeah. It had some other, like, sub trips in there, too, I think. Lucky ducks. All right. Coming in second place this week, Caroline and Jennifer. <sighs> I know. <laughs> Third place was, what, a foot race, practically? Mm, it was pretty close. The way they edited it, yeah. it seemed like it was really close. But Brendan and Rachel pulled it out. I have to say, I was really, really rooting for them. I love the Afghanimals. I know. I'm such a big fan of, them, of the Afghanimals. Yeah. But I really wanted to see Brendan and Rachel win. I want them to prove everyone wrong and be like, y'all suck. You know, the little uh, sorry you got eliminated film at the end was really true. The Afghanimals really were the most entertaining mm -hmm. Uh, team. Fun team. Yeah, they were fun. This they is had the a good same time. point in the race where they got eliminated last time, too. So Which that kind of sucks. Well, they had the old final three video package. We all want to win. Brendan, give me a baby. <laughs> Dave and Connor, I'm just doing it for my son. Or, I'm just doing it for my son. <laughs> and Carolyn and Jennifer, everyone thinks we're stupid. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So next time is the finale, and it's going to be awesome. They're going to be ending up in Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas is, is shown on the show. Exactly. <laughs> Brendan, I need a baby. Yeah, hey. so we're going to be seeing David Copperfield. Creepy. All these crazy tasks, and I guess the winners are going to parachute in. This is the, the pit sickest stop. finale ever. On the amazing race. It looks awesome. It's going to be amazing race. Till next time. Much, Much love. love. Edit. Edit.